start with today's news. Telcos opus international SMS traffic redefinition. So the, the says by try. So this comes under GS2 regulatory body for prelims about Troy. Telcos argued that there was no need to change the definition of international tariff uh, tra traffic. So which is an international SMS. So the try was established in uh, on 20th February 1997. Try regulates telecom service including fixation and revision of tariff which was earlier visited in the central government. So the head office of TRI is located at New Delhi and it aims to provide a fair and transparent policy environment which promote a level playing field and facilitate fair competition. So the TRI consists of chairman, uh, two whole time members and two part time members and they are appointed by government of India. Chairperson and other members shall hold their office for a tenure of three years or or till the age of 65 whichever is earlier so central government is empowered to remove any member of troy if they are adjudged or insolvent they convicted of an offense they become physically or mentally incapable of acting as a member and if they abuse their position proposed national research foundation looks to tap CSR to address funding concerns. So yeah, NRF is a proposed entity that will replace the Science and Engineering uh, Research Board of India. So this uh, board is created by an act of parliament in 2008. The NRF was one of the key recommendation of National Education Policy 2020. So India's R&D expenditure to GDP ratio is only 0.7 percentage that is very low compared to other economies. So India is in need of NRF. So Department of Science and Tech will be the administrative department of NRF. NRF will be governed by the board of eminent research and professionals across the disciplines. So NRF will operate with a budget of 50,000 crore for 5 years. Uh, that will be the issue so dac known for buying 26 rafael m jets so D, the 26 jets to be procured will fill the gap in the interim as the existing mig may not last till then dac is the highest decision making body the defense ministry dac is decided deciding on new policies and capital acquisition for three services for army navy and air force and also the indian coast guard so ministry of defense is the chairman of the council its members include the chief of defense and chief of the army navy and air force it was formed after the group of ministers recommendation on reforming the national security system post kargil war thank you